Hello, welcome back. This is Kench1913, and we are Let's Playing Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch. In the last episode, we explored Yule, and we did a few things inside the town of Yule, and now we are going to actually go, and, uh, <coughs> pretty much we're going to tie up some loose ends, as it's called in the loose end business, as in the tying business. So, let's see, what do I gotta do? Travel... Let's go to... Yule... Nope, I didn't mean to go here. I did not mean to go here. Yeah, this is the area we're gonna be coming to later, but not right now. And I won't be warping here, either. I'll show you how to get here, uh, uh in case you've never, ever been here. Which you should have been here. But, it's alright. Let's head to Yule. Yule. You're gonna pay for that. Anyways, uh, yeah, let's go in. So I'm gonna put away some of my familiars. There's a couple familiars here that I want to put away. Yeah, this guy, Wispy, which you get Tombstone Trial. Those guys, you can go get them all over the place. You can get them wherever... Ba batteries are sold. Alright, so let us uh, now go and visit that little ghost girl and get ourselves a quest. And like I said, pretty much what you gotta do is level up this familiar. Ten levels! I'm actually just gonna have him in my group. I'm not gonna take him out. Until he goes up ten levels. And you're probably wondering which familiar am I going to get rid of? Or at least, uh, temporary halt their experience. Well, you'll see. So yeah, let's talk to this blah blah blah. Alright, let's talk to you already. Yeah, you're worried about him. Yeah, I'll take this jabber guppy. I'll level him up a little bit and then I'll come back. Yeah. So right now he's on level 30. Right? On 30? Or 20? 30 maybe, yeah. You gotta get him to 40. So the familiar I'm getting rid of is Mr. Might. I'm gonna get rid of him for now. Someone was mentioning that there's another character that I could uh, bring in for the Might if I wanted to. But I feel at this point... I've already put in so much effort into these characters that it wouldn't be worth it. But then again, I could be wrong. Maybe if I collect them and level them up, maybe they will level up very quickly. So that I could turn them into level 3 monsters or familiars or whatever. So there you go. Now we got one quest underway. This one probably won't get finished uh, anytime soon, to be honest. Actually... Probably after the glittering grotto. Alright, so where do we have to go? If you remember correctly, there were a couple people missing hearts in certain areas. Like there was one in Hamlin. That one guy who was looking for some courage to uh, pretty much marry his sweetheart or whatever the frig it is. So yeah, he's over there. Plus, there's another reason why I came to Hamlin, and that reason is to talk to the, uh, the back alley dealer guy, because he's going to give us a piece of, uh, of something, uh, the wizard's companion thing. So yeah, we got some spare courage over at uh, Yule, so let's give him it. You'll take this courage, and you will propose to your woman, and hopefully she'll say yes. Well, you could probably use is some belief. Belief that your woman will say yes. You know, that would trump courage, I guess. Or maybe not. I know. I don't know. I wouldn't know. I've never been married or asked anyone to marry me. I'm sure it probably isn't too difficult. Especially if you have been with that person for some time. 
Anyways, now we need to head over to the black market area. Alright, um... Well, maybe I'm coming- maybe I'll come back after. Hello, kitty. Maybe I'll come back after. Oh, maybe I gotta come back after... After I do the, my business in the, uh... In Yule. <laughs> Alright, so if you remember correctly, there is a little cat girl. Nay, Cobalt. If you're playing Sukadin 4. Uh, that game's fun. That game was fun. It's a shame there will be no more Sukoden. Anyways, we gotta go visit that little Nate Cobalt girl up in the northern section of town and get her to be all, like, happy with the extra kindness that we picked up at Yule. So, we're almost there. We're almost at the section of the game where we visited every town in the game. And for most of my role-playing RPGs, I'll be asking, where would you want to live if you had to live somewhere in this world? My answer would probably be Ding Dong Dell, because I like cats. And I think it'd be kind of fun. I wouldn't live in I wouldn't live in Al Mount Moon because I wouldn't be able to deal with the with the heat in the desert. I wouldn't be able to live in Castaway Cove because I don't have the body for a bathing suit constantly. Hamlin is too industrial. Uh, Yule is way too cold. I pretty much already live in almost Yule in the northeast section of uh, the United States, and then. Um, the next area, I don't know, I probably wouldn't live there because it's on the mountain. So, Ding Dong Dell would be more than likely the place I would be at. Fairy grounds, no way. I wouldn't be there. Too many people. A lot of little people. I'm not saying that that's bad. Just saying I wouldn't want to be the tallest person in the town. Anyways, if you remember, there was a guy here who didn't have any confidence. And now we can give him some confidence. Ta-da! Yeah, there's just too many guys walking around and talking and blah 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 blah. Alright, I think that's it. Let me see the swift solutions. Alright, we got that. Let's claim this. Snowball gem, that ability's alright. Let's see, I got two, that's it? Damn, only two. Let's look at the board. Alright, there's three left, which is what I'm doing. Hot new look, snow-loving creatures, and moving on. So let us travel to Castaway Coast. And let's head inside. And now we need to talk to the lady here who makes swimsuits and get ourselves a swimsuit for that lady. And yeah, she will be blinking blue. So if you come over here and you talk to her, she should give us a snazzy swimsuit. Yeah, I need a snazzy one. Give it to me. Oh no, your last swimsuit's been taken. Oh, it was stolen by a seagull, and it headed west. No, I think that's all the clues we need. Let's head west. And we're gonna have to get on Tengri. There we go. 
let's go visit a seagull, a dirty, dirty seagull. Alright. So directly west of here is a little, is an island. I forget the name of the island. Bungler's Bay or something. And over here there should be a seagull. Yes, there he is. Hello, seagull. I used to have a friend named Seagull. I mean, that was his last name. Not his first name. His first name was Mike. I also knew his brother Kevin and his little brother, his little little brother, uh, I don't remember his name. Uh, Kevin, there was Kevin, Mike, and Marky, there we go. Yep, and now the seagull wants to wear the swimsuit because he's looking to become a man or a woman. More than likely a woman since it's a bikini. So that seagull is pretty nice. Now that we have that snazzy swimsuit, let's travel back to Yule. Give that lady the swimsuit. And then we are going to go do a little monster hunting. For monsters, I'm going to show you exactly which ones you're going to need to finish off this Derwin quest. And then the next Derwin quest, I believe, will be the last one. But it's the one that's the most pain in the A. Yeah. So you're gonna go there for the holidays. Well, good luck. There we go. All right, so now we pretty much just have to do some leveling for our ghosts and collecting some goddamn monsters or familiars. So the first familiar that we can catch is to the south of Yule. He is a creature that has a flower on its head. It's a frozen. Creature. So yeah, we just gotta go look for it. The second creature that we will be looking for is in this northern part of Yule. I mean, north of Yule, pretty much. And there we will ha fight a creature that looks like an abominable snowman that has snow on top of its head. So let's fight this guy, and I'll show you what I mean. So you see this guy? He does not have snow on his head. But that lotus guy, I could totally get as a familiar. This guy does not have snow on his head, but his uh, upgraded form does. So you want to look for that. Oh, man. So, I don't think it's too hard to get these guys, but the uh, the one that we have to get in the Glittering Grotto, that one can be a little tough. Alright. Yeah, and these guys this. are new enemies anyway, so I might as well show them off anyway. Alright. If I kill you, will you join my crew? No? You will not join my pirate crew? There we go. Good work, Tiggles. We did it. You are my third favorite cat. Well, the second favorite cat. Right behind the pirate cat, because he's he's much better than you. No offense. So yeah, just keep fighting. Yeah, we did not get him there. Let's see. Can I get him over here? And yeah, there's that. Uh, water uh, creature there. Let's see, can I fight you? Yeah, Ice Maiden. Now you could get an Ice Maiden, and if you really want to torture yourself, you could bring her up a level. 
and make her an ice queen, and then there you go, you have your familiar. But it's easier just to capture him. It'll save you more time, to be honest. Hey. Let me apologize for that. I just need to put my nose. Alright, let's see if I can get these guys. I probably should just do this off screen, but I want to show you the familiars that you can collect. Ooh, I obtained the snowflake. How am I actually going to be able to hold on to that? That's what I want to know. Alright, so here we have two of these Lotus Bubba. Let's hope that we can get them. Oh, look at that. Yes, there we go. Serenade it. Alright, so we got one out of the three. Very nice. Let's see. Yay! So yeah, this isn't too hard. And look at that Lothar of the Hill People. Nice! Lothar of the Hill People. Yay! We now have Lothars that are familiar. Yes! Like I said, one down, two to go. Now we need to go and fight some creatures north of Yule and south of the Glittering Grotto. There we go. That guy didn't count as a guy with ice on his head or snow on his head. So like I said, Yule is pretty much, uh, it pretty much cuts, uh, cuts the area in half. From, or pretty much cuts it from northern to southern area. Alright. Yay. Alright, um... Pretty much I have to go north. So let me show you what I'm going to do here. When, yeah, if you talk to him, he'll actually show you, he'll actually tell you what ones you're missing. Just two more, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I don't like him. He's a, he's a jerk. He really is no Otacon. So here we are in northern area, and you see these guys over here? This is who we're going to fight. And I'll show you why they're different. You see, they have snow on the head. Here goes so let's nothing. Potentially, we could, if we didn't get the Lotus guy, we could have got him here. But yeah, those are the guys we're looking for. We did it! And they're fairly plentiful in this area, so just uh, keep walking around northern, uh, right here. Northern Winter Wonderland or whatever. And so two of these guys have snow on their head. Here goes. Oh, yes! Yay, we got two out of the three now. Now we can head into the Glittering Grotto. Easy. Yay, easy is right. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Yeah, I'll call you squashy because I don't really care. To be honest, I don't really care too much about the names at all. In fact... I like Percy, and I like Tiggles. 
Those are probably the only two that I really like. Everyone else is kind of... Eh. Alright, I get it. But yeah, this guy would be in the way. If you just tried to go in there. So welcome to the Glittering Grotto. This is home of the Winter King. The Mountain King. Interestingly enough, this is where the White Walkers come from, too. Yeah, and apparently it's even colder in here. Hey, they are a bunch of old codgers compared to you. Yeah, so what I'm gonna end up doing in here... Alright, you give your right nostril to be little. So what I'm gonna do basically is just walk around here. I'm not gonna get any treasures, I'm not gonna go any I'm not gonna go very far. I just wanna walk around here and try to fight some ice queens. And who are you? Oh, there's no hidden pathway behind you? Alright, well if you say so. So here's an ice queen. Now let's try and recruit her. Watch this! If we could recruit her, that'd be lovely. She has like a six percent chance of being recruited. So it'll take a little it'll take a couple of battles. It will take a couple of battles. Hopefully. I wonder how many stored names it has for each, uh, for each, uh, specific, uh, creature, I guess. Maybe three or four, because apparently you can recruit multiple monsters of the same type. Of the same species and the same type and all that. So let's see, can I, I didn't get that queen again. But yeah, the nice thing about her in this, uh, bat, in this, uh, cave, if you're at my level, of course, which you might not be, but she runs at you rather than runs away from you, which is kind of nice, because it does save you time and energy from having to actually, uh, fight other monsters in order to get the opportunity to get her. See, now, if monsters run away, it takes a moment or two for them to spawn. And yeah, I'm not gonna get any of the treasure right now. I'm just trying to fight the queen broad. In the next episode, we'll tackle this bitch. We'll tackle it, and we'll tackle it hard. Alright, let's see, can I get it? No. Come on, you wanna... We can do this! We got a new enemy here, Tur Turban Legend anyways. But yeah, as you can see, look how wonderfully powerful those, uh, fire swords are, huh? Great. Oh man. I wish you would have uh, next time. You would have been a friend. Fluffy race. Let's see what else. So yeah, I'm just gonna pretty much just run back and forth around here and try and get uh, try and get that ice cream. That's really it. This will be the last one. Then I'll stop the video. But yeah, I'm gonna, if I don't get her, I'll just run around and, and try to get her. And then in the next episode, we will have her. If I don't get her here, which I'm probably not gonna. Anyways, uh, yeah, I'll just do that. And then we'll go get Derwin, we'll finish off Derwin's quest, and then we'll, uh, we'll come in here and we'll really, we'll really hit this place hard, like, really hard, like, super hard. Like, so hard that you fall off and die and shit. 
So I'm gonna stop the video here. In the next episode, I'll have the Ice Queen recruited and we'll have finish off Derwin's quest and explore the glittering grotto. So this has been Kenshin1913. I will see you guys and girls and ladies in the next episode. Bye-bye.